Hello everybody, RetroGuy25 here. I'm back with another video and this time another review. Um, I have one more review. This is just uh, uh, something to squeeze in in the meantime to kind of hold you guys over. Yeah, you know, just you know, wait a little bit longer for my uh, actual over review, uh, video game review that I'm going to be doing, um, pretty soon. Uh, well, not, like, pretty soon, not, like, real soon. Like, not, like, in a day or a couple of days from now, but in about a week, maybe a half a week later, you know. But in the meantime, I'm going to still try to put up maybe some more videos, a couple more extra videos this just, you know, just, uh, you know, to let you know that I'm still going to be uploading content and stuff and everything else. Um, this is just a, a review video for, uh, hold on a second. Alright, um, I was scratching the case if you heard that. Uh, because I was trying to get rid of some stuff. It was a little dirty from the inside, but anyways. Uh, you may have seen this game already. It's my pickups video that I did not too long ago. Um, but, uh, I'm doing a review on one of the games. Because uh, I like to do reviews on each game that I play for a little bit and check them out and tell you my thoughts and what I think about it and stuff like that. I don't usually give a score because, you know, I'm just going to give out my thoughts opinions but not a score opinion because it's like, you know, I'm not going to just, you know, give a score for what my final top score is because I don't like to score games. Uh... You, you you can let me know what you might give it. Uh, so, you know, down in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, so uh, anyways, the game I'm going to review is for the original Xbox, the Xbox version. And again, it's Call of Duty Finest Hour for the original Xbox. Here's the back of it. Why not? If you can see that. So yeah. Um. Now, Call of Duty: Final Hour, the first one that went to consoles for Xbox, PS2, and uh, Nintendo GameCube. Um. The Xbox and PS2 versions are slightly better because at the time there was online multiplayer and stuff. But the Xbox version was slightly more better than the PS2 version and GameCube version because it actually had when you can. The Xbox version, from what I understand, is the version when you can actually go up to two to 16 people offline. I want to play it, but it's 16 TVs and 16 Xboxes. You gotta have like a really big room to fit all those TVs and Xboxes, plus the hook them all up and stuff. They all gotta be powered on, and you know, you gotta have the link cable cord to like connect each Xbox, you know, multi link cables. You know, type deal, and that could be a hassle. But if, say, for an example, X Link Kai can run Finest Hour for X, X Link Kai, it's kind of like you playing online, except you connected to uh, a single uh, Link server, like. There's no scoreboards or, you know, you can't chat or anything. But it's like, once you hook your Xbox up to a modem or something, you know, to like, you know, to your 
by Ethernet, then you can probably play Call of Duty Finals Hour like online. Not online, but not officially online. But you can play against other people. It, it, it tricks it to think that it's multiple Xboxes connected, except you're doing it the internet way. But you have to. You have to, uh. Make sure the game is supported in that X Rank Kai in the games menu of X Rank Kai. Um, I'm not sure if it is. I don't think so. But if it is, then Final Hour would probably be a good choice. As long as if there's anybody playing it, uh, for X Rank Kai and and there's up to 16 people or less, but hopefully more than one person in each room. And then you pick one, and then, you know, then you just play it like it's online officially, but it's not, you know, because they shut down the Xbox Vice service a long time ago. But MVG, well, he will um, update you. It was about 10 hours ago, probably by now. But last time I checked, it was like 7, 8 hours ago. Um... Uh, so earlier today is when I'm guessing, uh, much, much more earlier today, M MBG, uh, he, uh, pretty much gave another update on, the uh, Incendia, or how you want to say it, I think that's how you say it, I don't know, but, uh, the one Xbox Live, uh, Thing that's like isn't work in progress, not fully done yet, but it's it, it has some good progress and it's up to date and stuff like that. So, you know, it's like it's you know, get in there, I guess. Like, it, I, it might be done pretty soon, maybe by the end of this year, I don't know. It could happen. It could get released to the public next year. I'm willing to do it, but the only way it can work if you uh, emula emulation maybe, but I don't know. He's saying anything pretty much outside of original Xbox real hardware. Uh, you won't be able to do it. It's not possible. But uh. Once you had the right equipment and you had the right file and the right programs to soft mod your Xbox and have the latest up to date soft mod uh, for your Xbox, you know, because you don't have to hard mod it but soft mod it. And then, you know, once it's a, what, a modded Xbox, is pretty much a modded Xbox, and then you can do the online play, you know. But it's like a custom online server, like, for fans, you know, for the Xbox and stuff. So, yeah. Um, it, um, pretty much, pretty much the, the new stuff should be coming out at some point soon. I'm not sure exactly when soon, but it's like, um, you know, it's like, a lot of people might be waiting for it to to get released. Some people probably don't care, but that's probably a small percentage than people that does care. So that's what I'm guessing. And, and I think it, it might, for some newcomers and some veterans, you know, a little bit of both, or at least a good chunk of the veteran players, but a lot of you that are newcomers, you might be interested, but some of you that are not, then you're not, you know. But it's like, um, I think it's going to be wonderful, and I can't wait for it to get released to the public and add a few more other games to the list to make it make it even more compatible with more games and everything runs fine and, and everything else, because that'd be cool. So, you know, but anyways, um, Insignia, 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 or some, I don't know, something like that, but 
basically, uh, if you type in what I'm trying to say, I'm not sure how you spell it, but uh, basically, there's the Xbox Live uh, 1.0, uh, something 1. Point, Xbox Live 1.0 uh, update is awesome, or something like that, he said in this video. Um, it's like, uh, I don't know, I just, just do a YouTube search and you see where to find MVG's video. Um, so, yeah. Um, otherwise than that, uh, I don't, I don't know how I can send it to you guys, because I, I don't think I can send it. I think I gotta be a modder or something. I'm not sure how to send a YouTube link underneath my description. I mean, I don't know. I haven't figured all that part out yet, but I can send like probably website stuff to like Wiki Games and DKODs or JJ Games and you know, stuff like that. But I sometimes do uh, in my description down below underneath the videos. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. You know, I. Uh, because you have three different choices of other places you probably haven't heard of to buy video games instead of just Amazon and eBay and stuff like that. So, you know. But anyways. Um. But yeah. Call of Duty Finest Hour. It's pretty good. I mean. Okay. This is what I like about the game. I like... The graphics, it's not too bad. It's pretty good. Not 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 too rough. It's not too bad for. Uh, I think it's I think it's better than okay. I think it's good. It's not very good or excellent, but I think it's good though. Um, especially on the Xbox quality of it. Um, I I think it I think the graphics look pretty nice. Pretty pretty good. Uh, for, for the for the graphics, uh, you know, now, uh, the gameplay, uh, I don't know, the gameplay, well, I, I, I think that, the uh, gameplay is, uh, old-fashioned like, but, hey, you know, it's like, it's like the very first one in the console, so you kind of gotta try to give it a break, uh, I mean, to you, new, new, to you newer generation of Call of Duty players, you might not like this one, but if you grew up with this one, then you might you might uh, you might appreciate it appreciate it more. But if you haven't grew up with it, then like I said, if you haven't grew up with it, then you might not like it too much. But if you grew up with Call of Duty Finance Hour, just call Call of Duty Finance Hour for the Xbox, PS2, or GameCube, then you might appreciate the graphics and, you know, the, um, what do you want to call it? You might appreciate the graphics and the, um, what do you want to call it? Um, and the gameplay. Now, the story, I think it's got a really good story. The story, I think, is really good. Like, uh, pretty darn good for the story. Is it an excellent story? Well, it's up to you to decide. Is it a very good story? Yes. I mean, in my opinion, yes. I really think so. Um, but yeah. Uh, but just taking a look at the back of the case at the screenshots... As you can see, they didn't do too bad of a job from what they captured and whatnot. So, you know, you got three campaigns. Many, many of you might know this by now of newcomers to this first console one. But the thing is, but yeah, the uh, Russians, the United Kingdom, so, Russia, United Kingdom, and, of course, United States. So, yeah. Uh, I think it's actually 
pretty good uh, overall. So, you know, for me, I mean, I think it's worth it. I don't think it's too bad. I mean, it's a little rough around the edges and stuff, you know, figure of speech, but, you know, I think it has a good charm to it. I mean, at least in my opinion, I think it's actually not too bad. And it, as you can see, it's T14, not M for Mature, like the newer ones are. But that's when it started, it was a, what you pretty much a T14 series at first. And then the later ones and stuff, after this one on console, then it started to become more like an M for Mature type of stuff because they wanted to put mature content in it, which is Activision behind pretty much the whole series, at least they're the publishers. And I guess they publish every single one, so it seems like they might have the actual license, so... Because there's a, there's a... It's like three different developers or something like that, but the publisher is Activision, so I guess Activision has to be the, uh... You know, the, uh... company that owns the license for Call of Duty. And you got EA... At least EA used to own the license for the other series, which came up before Call of Duty, which is Medal of Honor. And that was a pretty good uh, war game series. But the first few Call of Duties for the original Xbox and, and PS2 and GameCube, you know, at least the first three, uh, the first three console ones, I'm pretty and this not previous, but, uh, since generation consoles, like the original Xbox, at uh, back then, just called Xbox, but yeah, um, now, uh, the thing is, the GameCube version doesn't have any multiplayer, no multiplayer support whatsoever, at least that's what everybody's saying, but, I, I bought this under good recommendations, so I figured I'd give it a try, and I started to like it. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, is it awesome? Like, excellent? Like, perfect? Well, of course not. Like I said, I think it's a very good game. Like, in a very good, like, good to very good, like, type deal, Call of Duty games. Uh, some of you might not uh, agree that it's very good, maybe an okay game, but I think it's at least very good, at least to me. It has issues, yes, but then again, it's like, yeah, it, it, it can't, it can be, uh, something else, uh, for the very first console one back in 2004, but yeah. Anyways, um, that's all I got to show for now, so, and talk about pretty much, so, yeah, um, otherwise than that, uh, I don't really got much more to really say about it. I mean, that's pretty much my whole review. Uh, but yeah, um, now I'm a PS, PlayStation and Xbox fan, not really a Nintendo fan too much. I like all three, but you know, I'm mostly drawn to, uh, games that's mostly for PS2 and Xbox for parties that's only been out on Xbox and PS2 and never went to the GameCube. But there's some fair parties that I might play on the GameCube that's up for all three consoles, but mostly the fair parties of exclusives that's only for the GameCube and still is on the GameCube because of certain reasons or or whatever. But the thing is, it's like I like playing GameCube games, Wii games, whatever, any kind of Nintendo stuff. But the thing is, I, it's just that I, I grew up with PlayStation and Xbox 
So I played PlayStation and Xbox. Back in the PS1, I grew up that first. The first console I played was Super Nintendo. But the thing is, I didn't grow up with the, uh, what do you want to call it? I didn't grow up, I didn't grow up, like, the first console I grew up with was the Super Nintendo, but the thing is, I, I didn't grow up with PlayStation 1, so, it's like, I, I didn't get to play that first, but it's the first console that I ever got, you know, at least not with my own money, because I was too young to have a job yet, but the thing is, um, it was the first one that I got for, uh, my birthday, and it was the very first console that I ever got, like, as my own console, in, 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 in a way, so it's like, uh, the PlayStation, the PlayStation 1 was, like, you know, my, uh, favorite console, at least at the time. But now my favorite console is, uh, well, if you, it's kind of hard to, to go from PS2 to original Xbox, but I don't know, after experiencing with the original Xbox way later in my life, uh, I'm going to have to go with Xbox, but it's like I have a favorite, not a favorite, but I have a special place at all times, though, with the PlayStation 2. Because it was just phenomenal, especially back when it was new. But, you know, and plus, I got a PS2 first before original Xbox. I got the PS2 in 2005. Now, yes, five years later after the launch. Like, what the heck? But, you know, it's like... I got that for Christmas, so I didn't have a job yet. Plus, uh, I didn't. I had. I was old enough to get a job, but maybe an after school job, like a summer job or something. But I never gotten around to it until a few years later. You know, quite a few years later. Then I started to have a job, and I've been job. I've been going to job jumping around all the time, and uh. You know, and it's not that I don't like any of the jobs, it's just that it was, the last job I had was, like, uh, pretty much, uh, to save up money to buy my video games on my own and stuff. So, people buy video games for me, or whatever sometimes, and I just accept it like that. But I've been trying to go to work and whatnot. And save up money to buy buy video games like Xbox games, PS2 games, maybe a GameCube game, you know, or for any console once in a while. It's just that it's every time it's been the second shift, and I wasn't used to it because the, the jobs of a second shift wasn't like a standard time from this time to this time. It was literally I work from this time and I get up whenever. You know, and I kind of didn't like that. But, hey, I'm going to have to stop quitting jobs like that and just, hey, if I got to work night, then I work night. But I might be working at a daytime job to save up money and then buy all the video games I want. And uh, I'll get out during the mid-afternoon. You know, so it's like, I think that'd be pretty cool. But, you know, it, it's not about some uh, job experience that we're talking about in this video. But I figured just to give you a little bit of a background of me a little bit in some of my videos, piece by piece. And eventually, you'll know a little bit more about me. But only the things I'm going to tell you, just like any YouTuber will, you know, tell you about yourselves, what they want to tell you, you know, all that stuff. But anyways... But yeah, uh, I think that, like I said, Call of Duty Finals Hour is actually pretty decent. More than decent, I think it's pretty darn good. I mean, at least in my opinion. Does it have glitches and bugs and stuff? Yes. But it's not 
as bad as 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 what some people might say it is. I mean, it's actually pretty good. They will say it's uh, in the good kind of category. At least somebody will. A few people would. It's just that it's not for everybody, but hey, it's something. So yeah. Um, but other ways than that, uh, this video is pretty much, as you can see in the title down below, underneath the video that, since you're watching this video, by the time you're watching this, you see the title of the video, basically, it's gonna, it's gonna be called something like, it should be called, if I, uh, 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 I mean, I already have an, a title name thought out for it by the time you see this. Once once you see this uploaded, it's going to be something like uh, Xbox review for Call of Duty Final Hour slash some interesting background facts about me, about Retro Guy 25. You know? So, yeah. Um, but, anyways. Catch you later. Until next time. For all of you that likes my content. See ya.